SAP Basis, Business Application Software Integrated Solution, Interview Questions and Answers. What is SAP Basis, and what is its role in the SAP system? SAP Basis stands for Business Application Software Integrated Solution. It is the underlying system software that provides the runtime environment for SAP applications. BASIS is responsible for system administration, monitoring, and configuring the SAP landscape. What are the different components of the SAP BASIS system? The major components of the SAP BASIS system include the application server, database server, presentation server, and communication interfaces. How do you perform client administration in SAP BASIS? Client administration involves creating, copying, and deleting clients. It also includes client-specific customizing and data management. You can perform client administration using transactions like SCC4, SCC5, and SCCL. What is the transport system in SAP, and how does it work? The transport system in SAP is used to move customizations, configurations, and developments between different systems, e.g., from development to quality and production systems. The transport system uses transport requests to bundle the changes and move them via the Transport Management System TMS. What is SAP Kernel, and how do you upgrade it? SAP Kernel is the core of the SAP system that contains the executable files required to run the SAP application. To upgrade the SAP Kernel, you need to download the latest version from SAP Service Marketplace, follow the upgrade guide, and apply the necessary patches. Explain the role of the SAP Data Dictionary. The SAP Data Dictionary is a centralized repository for all the data definitions in the SAP system. It contains metadata about data elements, domains, tables, structures, and views used in the application. How do you monitor and manage background jobs in SAP? Background jobs in SAP can be monitored and managed using the SM37 transaction code. You can review the job log, reschedule or delete jobs, and analyze job statuses and errors. How do you apply SAP Support Packages and SAP Notes? SAP Support Packages and SAP Notes can be applied using the transaction code SPAM. SPAM is the tool used for importing support packages, while SAP Notes are applied using the transaction SNOTE. What is the SAP System Landscape, and how do you design it for a project? The SAP system landscape represents the arrangement of various SAP systems that are involved in a project, such as development, quality assurance, and production systems. The landscape design depends on factors like project requirements, system sizing, scalability, and system integration. How do you perform a system refresh in SAP basis? A system refresh involves copying data from one SAP system to another. You can use SAP tools like R3 Load, SAP Inst, and database tools, e.g., BR tools, to perform a system refresh. What are the different types of work processes in SAP, and what is their role? SAP work processes are responsible for executing specific tasks in the system. The main work processes are dialogue, background, spool, and queue, update, and message. They handle user interactions, batch processing, print requests, lock management, data updates, and communication, respectively. How do you monitor SAP system performance? SAP system performance can be monitored using transaction codes like ST03N, Workload Monitor, ST06, Operating System Monitor, ST04, Database Performance Monitor, and ST02, Buffer Overview. What is the purpose of the SAP System Landscape Directory, SLD? The System Landscape Directory, SLD, is used to provide information about the technical landscape of an SAP solution. It contains information about software components, technical systems, and their relationships. Explain the concept of SAP profiles and how to configure them. SAP profiles contain parameters that define the behavior of different SAP instances. You can configure profiles using transaction RZ10, and they are stored in the instances directory. 
How do you perform a client copy in SAP, and what are the different client copy options? Client copy can be performed using transaction code SCC8. The different client copy options are local client copy, remote client copy, and client export, import. What are SAP spool requests, and how do you manage them? SAP spool requests are generated when printing is triggered within the system. You can manage spool requests using transaction SP01, where you can view, delete, or reprocess spool requests. How do you apply security patches in SAP? Security patches can be applied using the transaction spam. You can import the necessary security notes and apply them to the system. What is SAP Early Watch Alert, and how does it help in system monitoring? SAP Early Watch Alert is a proactive monitoring service provided by SAP to check the health and performance of the SAP system. It analyzes system data and provides recommendations for optimizing system performance. How do you perform a system backup and restore in SAP? To perform a system backup in SAP, you need to use tools like BRBACKUP for the database and SAP tools like R3DDBR for the SAP data. To restore the system, you can use BRRESTORE and R3LOAD. How do you troubleshoot SAP system performance issues? To troubleshoot performance issues, you can analyze system logs, check work process statuses, monitor database performance, analyze SQL statements, and use SAP performance analysis tools like STAD and ST12. What are the different types of transports, and how do they differ? The different types of transports in SAP are workbench, customizing, transports, customizing imports, and transport of copies, TOC. Workbench transports move repository objects, while customizing transports move configuration settings. TOC transports are copies of other transports. How do you apply SAP Support Package Stack? To apply a support package stack, you need to download it from SAP Service Marketplace, extract it, and use some Software Update Manager to apply the stack. How do you perform a system copy using SAP Export Import Method? System copy using export import method involves exporting data from the source system and importing it into the target system. You can use tools like R3Load, SAP Inst, and database tools to perform the export import. How do you monitor and manage background RFC connections? You can monitor and manage background RFC connections using transaction SM59, where you can view, test, and maintain RFC connections. How do you configure SAP routers, and what is their purpose? SAP routers are used for secure communication between SAP systems in different network zones. To configure SAP routers, you need to set up the router parameter in the instance profile and maintain the relevant routing information.